Okay guys, uh, this is one of the issues I have with this plow, but I believe we got a fix for it, so I just wanted to show you guys. This is your uh, Snow Wolf plow with fast tack on it. Now we have an adjustable control in the thing, but you barely have to move it and this thing will slam around. Now you gotta understand this is this is that this is that extremely low idle of a bobcat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear the lines out and we're gonna see if we can put in uh, regulators in here and shut down the orifices so the oil runs slower through. This will produce more heat, but in the middle of winter that shouldn't matter. And that should stop this from slowing down a little bit on the thing. But I'm gonna get Mike to show you how this kind of works. You gotta... Okay, so with this orifice, I don't know if you can see, but there's a small hole. You can kind of see from the bottom here too. This is what we're gonna to do to hopefully slow down the flow of that oil. And we're just gonna add this to the hydraulic fitting. So I'll bring it back. So as you can see, this is the original hose with the male fitting on it. And this is the new one with the female fitting. And here's that one with the reducer and then there's an adapter sorry this is the one with the reducer this is the adapter to get it down to this one this is the original one so we only put a restrictor on one side because it flows both ways so we'll put it on here and i'll show you how it does okay so we put those fittings in this is at full rpm you can see how much it slowed it down by putting those restrictors in or those uh you know, Michael, uh, turn the volume down and then you can kind of see here's give you an example of uh, when we did it with low RPM. And then high RPMs. It's way nicer. There's none of that clanging and banging. You're not beating the heck out of the equipment. So yeah guys, all we did is we changed out, put those uh, reducers in that I showed you there. I'll have another picture of that. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. A couple of other improvements we did is they have these cutting edges, which is great. We put anti-traction or traction tape on this. Um, we just constantly are stepping over this and when you got snow on your feet, so we did this. This would be an upgrade that I'd, I'd ra recommend anybody doing. It makes a huge difference on the way this plow travels. Without it, it's too quick and it slams back and forth. And it's, um, we put those orifices in, uh, went to the hydraulic place, told them I wanted to slow it down. They put these in. So we, we spun them in. I think it was a cost of 20 bucks. I got them from the Bobcat dealer. They spun right into the hose, hooked them up and work phenomenal it slowed the blade right down so you can go full stroke you don't have to worry about trying to feather it or whatever um, just in our our bobcat it was extremely fast i'm sure case and john deere new holland or whatever you guys would all have the same problem so that's one easy fix to fix that so if you have somebody in your bobcat that's not you and is not gentle this will fix that issue and won't slam it around and it still moves quick enough to to win row back and forth when you're driving back and forth and you want to switch wind rows, it's still quick enough. It just doesn't slam back and forth. Those are the upgrades we did to this plow. Um, I don't know, maybe Snow Wolf does this now. I don't know if they, if they don't. Um, I would highly recommend them to put those little orifices in because it makes a huge difference. And for, I think it was $5 in tape to put over top of that stuff. So if you walk on it or step on it, you're not uh, you're not slipping and falling and hurting yourself. And this is something we did over and above uh, safety. It all comes down to safety. Last thing you want to do is get hurt out on the job site. And uh, yeah, besides that, we haven't really changed much. It's dirty, needs a good wash. But uh, yeah, we got this all done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you like, please uh, subscribe. And uh, for more content like this, and I appreciate you guys coming out.